Hello and welcome in section 5. Here we'll be working with troubleshooting models with scikit-learn. And we'll start with solving a problem when label binarizer returns vector when there are two classes. So when you're working with classification problem, you basically have to, you know, it doesn't matter if you're working with two classes or multiple classes, you have to encode the name of the classes as some kind of values uh, to make them work with deep learning models. And there are a couple of ways of going about it. And label binarizer is one of those utility classes from scikit-learn that actually help you do that. And this label binarizer is great at encoding your labels to integers. And it actually works great when you have two classes, okay? Because it will just, you know, return the required values that you can use then with binary classification, assuming that you have that your last layer is defined as dense layer with just one neuron and activation function sigmoid. And this is where we, you know, often use this kind of last layer uh, when we have only two classes and we want to just distinguish between those two. But the problem is that when you actually want to do work with uh, more than three classes or more than two classes to be exact. And in this case, you can't really use a label binarizer. Why? Well, because when you're working with multiple classes in deep learning model, you have to define your last layer as dense layer with number of classes neurons. And in this case, this is the number three because we have three classes that we want to use in this example. And you have to also use the activation function different than in binary classification problem, in this case, softmax. And the problem is that this output of label binarizer is not actually compatible with this layer because, you know, it encodes the labels as integers or as a race of integers, but we need a slightly different encoding called one hot vectorization. So it has to turn those labels into very specifically looking vectors. So how to correctly encode more than three classes here? First, you need to encode label as unique integers and scikit learn you can just use label encoder. And you have to just provide, you know, first initialize the label encoder and then run a fit transfer on your Y data set, right? The output data set. So once you do that, you've got assigned unique numbers to each of the class. And then the next step is you can pretty much go about it in a different way. Scikit-learn has its own utilities to do that. But since we are working with deep learning models, in Keras there's a very handy function called true category. And you can really easily use that to transfer your encode labels to one hot vectors. And once we've done it, we actually have properly encoded classes as one hot vectors that we can use with our dense layer and a softmax function, uh, software activation function. So if you want to see more examples, feel free to check out additional resources. 